think 16 is when it first happened and there's this moment, this brief moment when I got the depression and anxiety kind of diagnoses. There was a few other t others tacked in there that felt like a relief. And I thought that it was giving me some sort of framework or way to understand what was happening with me. But as I grew and as I look back on it and particularly as I moved to another state and got another diagnosis of borderline, I decided that the system had no idea what they were talking about. And I just realized watching them, watching them ask me these questions that were out of a book and not really asking me questions about who I was, that it really didn't have a lot of meaning, that it didn't have to be who I was. And that point for me was a turning point to saying that I'm not going to be looking to the system for answers anymore. But ultimately what I like to say is that non-compliance saved my life. It's often listed as a, a treatment problem. You know, if you're non-compliant or treatment resistant or any of those things that that somehow suggests that you're not going to move forward. For me, what helped me move forward was leaving the state where they were hospitalizing me, which I was lucky enough to have the resources to be able to do. and not talking to people in the system about certain things, being much clearer about what I did and didn't want to share until I could start talking about it from more a place of power, which I do now. I talk pretty openly about a lot of things, but I had to go through my own process. And my own process was pretty dark for a while of my internal struggles and finding people in my own life, just people like my husband or friends who didn't understand, but weren't necessarily going to send me off somewhere either. So I looked for genuine relationships and I also uh, talk about my son both making my internal distress worse but also pulling me out of it. It gave me something to get up for during the day as did my work and just the further I went into a life that had things external to me that were pulling me along the more I did keep moving along. Just having people who I can talk to, whether or not they get it, having people that I care about, having people that I want to have a relationship with and that pull me out of myself, having people that aren't hurting me. A lot of what I believe is that I had a lot of really bad experiences when I was a kid and the system didn't ask. When the system hospitalized me, they asked questions like, are you harming yourself, are you suicidal, are you whatever, to figure out if I need to be in the hospital. But they didn't ask me why I was doing any of those things ever. And the reality is that I experienced sexual trauma, physical trauma, emotional trauma as a child. And it really, I believe, had me interacting with my world in a way that really came from a place of not believing the world was safe, not believing that relationships could be trusted, but finding relationships that change my ability to be in this world in a way that trusts having relationships and values my place in it. The system essentially gave me the message that I was somebody who had a chemical imbalance, who had something wrong inside of me, that while not my fault was nothing I had any control over, was nothing that was the result of anything but my body and who I was born to be, and that I was going to have this constant struggle, that I should take medications, that um, I might have an okay future, but that I had better reconcile what that future would be with the fact that there was something wrong inside of me that wasn't going to go away. And what I've discovered is that, yes, I am someone who has experienced hurt, that has shaped in part who I am, but that I have the ability to change in many ways as I move down my path, that there's not something that was just born into me, that there are reasons why I've experienced the distress and the pain that I have experienced that makes sense, and that I have an awful lot of control at this point of what life looks like moving forward, that I don't need to be dependent on a system for answers, that I don't need to be dependent on medications for answers, that I don't need to be dependent on someone's book definition for answers, that I can really shape my own story. You know, I, I am a mother, I am a wife, I'm a friend, 
I have a job, I get to be a filmmaker now, I'm, I'm having fun with that right now. I'm, I'm doing all these things in my life that shape who I am. I think that we have to come to a place where the focus is genuine curiosity about one another, space to have our own stories, and support that comes from not a place of knowing, but a place of not knowing, of acknowledging what we don't know, of acknowledging our complexity of, as individuals. And so I hope that this dialogue is encouraged to happen, but happen with everyone asking why in every direction to everything that's suggested, and not with the goal of coming up with some little box of things or perspectives that people get to choose from, but really sort of getting rid of the boxes